Hi everyone. So, I got a couple of new colored poly gel from Amazon, like cheap little kits. And I'm going to sample, put a sample on each of the bottles at the top here. And I'm also going to make samples for nails to see how it actually looks in a nail form. <clears throat> but I haven't quite figured out a really good organizing system for myself yet and to really be able to tell the bottles apart easier this is pretty handy so what I'm gonna do is use my e-file and I'm actually going to rough up just the inside of the lid just kind of around not too much pressure just scuffing it up so that way the poly gel has something to hold on to and I will actually prep this with dehydrator primer and a base coat because I figured out that that helps it really actually stick like to a nail so, um, I'm going to do all of those, and then when we come back, we'll sample one of these bottles. So, we'll see you shortly. Hi, everyone. So, because I was having such a struggle trying to do that crinkle look... I went ahead and tried a bunch of different looks just to make myself feel better so that way I could do it. So I was just kind of, you know, showing these off a little bit. Some of these are like really pretty. Anyway, so I saw these online. That kind of glassy look. <laughs> and I tried a couple different examples. That one's with white. That one's with pink. And the pink one actually turns the whole nail kind of a pink tone. And this one I tried with iridescent glitter underneath. But it kind of makes it the glassy part a little harder to see. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off the nails that I'm not a big fan of. And then we're going to replace them with these. And I don't know if I'm going to keep the purple theme going. I did try one with a purple background. That didn't turn out too bad. But... We'll see. I don't know. I might kind of use that purple glitter. I don't know. But I do like the way these turned out better. So, that's what we're going to do. And we'll check back in. <clears throat> Alright. So, ignore the burn. You know, life happens. On my pinky. But look at that. There are some air bubbles in there. Which, you know what, I don't, doesn't even bother me right now because I tried using the forms, the actual, these little gold paper forms that came with the kit. And I tell you what, they're amazing. Even just these little ones that come, they're amazing. Because <laughs> you don't have any problems with them being too small. You literally form your nail, and it's amazing. And I did these two. My, this first finger ended up a little bit thick, but it's actually not as thick as my other ones, which is amazing. You get a better point, you get a better shape. Oh, I'm so happy. So, <laughs> one thing I did come across was that I wasn't 100% paying attention because I was trying to figure out how to use the form, how to put the sticky on the sticker on the finger. <laughs> so they ended up longer than the rest of my nails. 
And what's funny is that they're, they're straighter too. So now the rest of my nails look really crooked. <laughs> and especially this one. This is the next one that's going to go. This is going to go. It just not, just not okay. <clears throat> but you know, it's part of the learning process. So, um, I left this pinky. I'm going to do this thumb. And I think I'm going to have to do this middle finger because it's so much shorter and it's just crooked. It's awful. So we're going to work on those. And then I'll think about this hand because these ones aren't too bad. But I don't know. I'll probably end up doing all of them. But we'll go ahead and check back in in a little bit. And we'll see you soon. All right. We got done with the thumb. And I tell you what. This is so much easier, and it's so much nicer. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Oh, so much better. Man, this last set was such a struggle, and this is going just swimmingly. <laughs> so, I'm going to do this one next, because it's crooked, it's short. I might leave, I don't know. We'll probably end up doing the whole set, if I'm going to be honest, because... I love this like glass look that's kind of going on right now. It's amazing. So we're going to rock it. So we'll check back in. So it's official. We're just going to do the whole set. <laughs> so this just went from, you know, correcting a few nails to replacing the whole set. And I'm okay with that. So... I'm going to finish this hand, and then we'll see, I was thinking about recording how I'm doing it on this hand, but we'll kind of, I might save like the last nail for that or something, but we'll see. So, checking in, I, the more I do it, the more I love it, they're beautiful, amazing. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're nine out of 10. I was gonna do this thumb on camera, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> I have had so much struggle doing this hand. I'm right-handed and I thought this hand would be a lot easier. Turns out the other hand was a lot easier. I should have done one of these nails, <laughs> but we're working on it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this last nail and then we'll take a look at the whole set and then we should be done. Maybe, I guess we could try decorating. I'll think about it. <laughs> See you in a bit. Hey everybody, look at that. We are done. They are beautiful. So much better than the last set. I'm not going to decorate them right now. Because I like the way they look as they are. And when we have to fill them, then I might decorate them. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but, so, you know, a correction turned into a whole new set. But sometimes that's how things work out. Thanks for watching. Bye! All right, so we got everything drilled, primed, base coat. So <clears throat> this is a new brand I haven't tried yet. I don't know what that is, but we're going to open her up. Oh, man. All right, so I'm just going to squeeze some off in the top. That's actually a pretty nice color. It moves pretty well. It's a little soft. But not too bad. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and 
secure that. Okay, so nice and hard. And we're gonna put the top coat on. Ooh, we're running out of top coat. Um, some of these I did, <clears throat> like the solid colors, I, um, actually I did them all gloss, but I'm going to do them half matte, half gloss, because then you could really tell. But glitter, I don't really like under a matte top coat. So, we're going to do these with the rest of those, and then I'll update you. Bye! Alright, so, we did some tops. They turned out all right. That one didn't. That one was kind of clumpy. <clears throat> See, it's a lot better to tell what bottles are what. Like, I know it says on the front, but I'm telling you, when you're just sifting through stuff, this is pretty handy. <clears throat> oh, I love that red. Anyway. And these are the last ones. And then these ones, I started doing some samples because when you put it on the lid, you know, it's nice to see exactly what it's going to look like in a nail form. So... Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Just thought that might help somebody out. So, we'll see you later. Bye!